Hi everybody, this is me, Dee Dee, from Haunted Curiosities. And I have with me today Anthony. He is a vampire. He is living. He is in the flesh. And I've been talking to him for quite a while. He's extremely interesting. He knows so much. Um, not just about vampires, but other creatures, entities, aliens, space. 2012, you guys have no idea. And the things he has told me are things that, you know, I have never heard before. So I'm very excited to have him here today. If I sound a little nervous, or if he does, it's because we're both nervous <laughs> around each other a little bit. But I want to welcome him. Um, hello, Anthony, and how are you today? Very well. Yourself? I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm going to get right to this and ask you, how long have you been a vampire? I'd rather not disclose age, but in vampire years, I'm fairly young. Okay. What is it like being a vampire? It is like being dead and alive at the same time, if that makes any sense to you. But that was only in the beginning. Why do you say only in the beginning? In the beginning, I felt dead due to depression. I had to leave my family right away. And knowing that I would never see them again and outlive them all was very... It was a hard blow. Oh, wow. I, I imagine um, that it would be. So you just basically upped and walked out, vanished from your family. Yes. Yes, I did. Why did you do that? I had to. I had no other choice. The, the people of that day were very superstitious. It was safest choice for me and family. Okay. Are you still depressed now? No. They have all since passed. Well, e even though they've passed, um, I know that when a human being loses a family member, they, it doesn't mean that they don't mourn them. Don't, don't you still miss them? No, as time passes, so does my human emotions. Okay. Um, all human emotion is gone? Is this what happens when you become a vampire? It just vanishes like you did from your family? or Not completely. It, the, you, you still hold on to some tendrils, something close, but it's not full human. Would you say at this time you're all vampire? Yes, I would say I'm fully full vampire. I can see, smell, taste, touch. It is just different. Okay. Do you need blood? Are you dangerous? Can you enchant? Can you fly? I do need. You know, blood. tell me. I, I'm like, you know, I have you in front of me. I, I really want. I want to know all these things. I do need blood, but not in manner you would think. I can enchant you, but I cannot fly. I can also go in churches and wear crosses and pray, but I refuse to. You refuse to? Do you refuse to because of your family? Yes, it was the fate that I had I had to do. It was very tough. Okay. Are you dangerous to me and other human beings? It seems to me that you have not really realized yet that I am vampire and you are human. You are food. Okay. Um... Well, I would ask you if you'll eat me, but I'll just, like, pass on that one. Um, uh, but are you dangerous to me right now as I, as I sit here and, and tape you? Please, do not push me. It is only you and me right now. I could do whatever I want with you and leave. No one would know. And what makes you think that we have to drink from your neck? Uh, I could cut you to pieces and splatter you on the wall. Is that how you do it? I have been known to do that. Do you do it now? Uh, no, I've become a little bit more classy. When you say a little bit more classy, you just don't leave the splatter or or uh, what? Well, there, I mean, I'm a little nervous here, people. There's tongue marks on wall, and they get kind of confused. They think it's Satanists or something like that. I usually have no lines thrown to me. Okay. Well, we're going to just uh, move on from that right now. Um, so basically, movies and books and things like that are, are not accurate. Not in any way, shape, or form. Okay. They're, they're pure myths. Okay. Um, well, you already answered the question about praying. You say you choose not to. But yet, you've also told me in prior conversations that you do believe um, in God. And, and I, I, even now, even though you don't pray. So why is that? I 
he, I know he exists. I've been on the same plane as him. But he, I, it, I really don't want to talk about okay. that much. Okay, I understand. So subject. Okay, now you said you went through a full change. What was that like? Well, the, the, the vampire that changed me, or did the initial start, uh, is telepathically connected to me forever. Forever? Forever. Okay. He, he knows when I no longer have human emotion. And at this time, he takes me to his house, and I spend all evening, and that morning, I see my last sunrise as human. So you still see the sunrise, but not as a human being, what? Yeah, after that, for, after that last one, yes. Okay. I no longer see it as human wood. What was the change like? Is it something you feel, something you see? Yes, they come and take me to see my origins. Well, but don't you, or, or, don't you originate from the family that, that had you? Your mother and your father? The vampire in me does not originate from my family. So explain it to me. Um, I get passed on the cane energy. The cane energy? Yes, cane energy. Okay, we're going to stop this right here. We will be back.